This poem is called The Silent Place. And although it's not about Anzac Day, I am conscious of the fact that I've written it and I'm reading it in the days and on the eve leading up to Anzac Day itself. And that's a day when we reflect upon tragic loss of life, none of which ever anybody wants repeated. And we mourn for souls lost. We do it in a silent place. And similarly, I think we've all found ourselves in silent places over the last days and weeks and maybe even months. And this poem taps into that. So the silent place. This silent place is good to contemplate our world, its faults, to muse upon our fate. And in this quiet, to know that frontline staff each daily risk their lives on our behalf. While we in safety sit in New York State, unnamed pine boxes bare in trenches wait. The rain and tears and mud dread choreograph this silent place. In Bergamo, statistics understate what families have suffered don't conflate mere numbers with each loving epitaph. From happier times, rescue one smile, one laugh, and let these blessings slowly recreate this silent place.